Today, I got every single snipe filter for season six. And I spent like 20 minutes on like each of these filters. So if you see a snipe, that means I got one in 20 minutes. If not, that means 20 minutes, shit ain't pop up. And per usual, I'm gonna be telling y'all which ones you should and should not freaking use, man. And one to use. All right, per usual, we got the cheapest one, which is you can basically sell any card for 800. Because you can do that. If you wanna do the 500 filter, you can do that. I set it to 600 and this again, per usual. I always say this, but you only use this on pack days. Any other days could be asked, but pack days, a lot of people pull out of shit, start selling over cheap as fuck. So that's the only day you're gonna get lucky, man. Um, and only use this filter if you literally have basically no MT. All right, bro. Next, we probably got the best budget budget site filter. Like, if you have very little MT, I would probably just go straight to this if you can. And NBA Series Two Gold, bro. Basically, the cheapest is seventy fifty. Um. Pull it up for like 1700 maybe even 1500 if you want to sell off the rip. If you set this right around 1000 bro, you'll get a solid profit each time like 500 MT. And yeah, this is pretty fucking consistent, bro. You'll probably see a snipe every 10 minutes at the very max, man. So this is the most consistent filter. And if you are broke as hell, bro, use this one, man. Come on. Hey, go. All right, next, bro, we got the diamond filter, which I'm not the biggest fan of. It's a very, very, very mid filter. As you can see, the cheapest is like 1500 You should probably put it up for 1450 or 1400 if you want to sell it off the rip. Again, set this to like 1000 and it's a little bit worse than the gold. You're not going to see as many problems. So I would stick to the gold, but if that gets dry, you can switch into this one if you want to, bro. Oh, finally, bro. Let's go. It took like 15 minutes. Let's go, bro. All right, bro. Now we got one of the better budget filters. Um, the pink diamond, man. The cheapest is 2800 You can probably sell them. You should probably sell them for like 2700 And yeah, if you set this right now, 2000 you'll get like 500 MT pop for whatever snipes you get. This is, yeah, there's another consistent one. You should probably see a snipe every like 15 minutes ish, 10, 15 minutes. Uh, yeah, there's another good filter. Come on already? Hey, come on, Sim. Let's go. Alright, well, next we got Heroic Man, cheapest, and basically, um, the cheapest one, you can probably get away with selling for 4700 but uh, if you want to sell pretty quickly, I would sell it for like 4500 man. You can set this to 3500 man, and if you see a Reggie Lewis, that's extra profit. Obviously, if you see any other hero card, it's going to be a lot of profit. If you see Reggie Lewis, you can sell him for a little bit more. So make sure you check Reggie Lewis's price and put him up for the cheapest one for him, man. Please. Yeah. Let's go, man. Kobe White from the top. Let's go. Next, we got Power Force Supersonic. And technically speaking, you see Richard Lewis or Mr. Vladimir on this. You're basically going to get Vladimir, who's going for like, you can sell him for like 6000 and he will sell within 30 minutes. And so set this to like 5000 man, because he's a lot more expensive than the regular pink diamonds. But I mean, whatever, if you're going to sell them, probably not. But it's a, something to consider if you're bored, I guess. All right, bro. Next, bro, once you have like 20 or 30 KFT, most people will tell you, you should probably switch to this filter, Galaxy Opal. Um, yeah, and the cheapest, basically, this is like bots are buying these cars, right? And so if you set to like anything, I think under 13,800, it will pretty much sell right away. If you set this, if, if you sell each for 13,500, they will pretty much sell right away. And so if you want to set make about a thousand each snipe, I would just set this to 11k. And people swear about this filter, bro. I'm not gonna lie, I've been on here multiple times in my life, and like I don't usually get much luck on this, but this is a filter you should be trying out if you are around 20 to 30k, man. All right, next we got the Demarcus Cousins Galaxy Open Filter, man. And basically, you can get this regular uh, Demarcus Cousins or this really, really expensive one that goes for 75k. But basically, you're gonna be trying to get the cheaper one. And as you can see, it's going for like 24k. And so you sell for 24k, man. And then you can, I would probably set this to right around 20k. You can probably go a little bit under to 19k if you want uh, good snipes, but it won't be a competitive filter. So you can set it to 20k, just get whatever. And yeah, bro, um, probably not the most consistent filter, but it's a solid filter, man. And if you get the hero version, bro, you're gonna be fucking creaming your damn pants. As a matter of fact, you can even hard scope the hero one. He's going for 75k. Probably set that at like 65k, man. Yo, come on, bro. I just came back. All right, bro. Now we got maybe, maybe it's like a secret filter. I'm sure obviously people know about it, but I don't know if anyone talks about it. Hero Jordan Poole, bro. And as you can see, he's going for 35k. I don't know how often you can pull a hero card, but 35k is ex very expensive for a Galaxy Opal. But yeah, you can sell him for, I would say, 34 If you put him up for 34k, he will sell. So you can sell for 34k. And because of that, I would say it's right around 29k, man. And don't expect this filter to be consistent. It's one of those, if you do see one, you might see one for like 15k. So it's more of a quality over quantity. If you see one, you can make like 20k MT, man. So go ahead and try this out. Expect to be on here for like an hour though, bro. It's a hard scope. 
Oh, bro, another big hard scope you can get is small force groups on the northwest. Who does that equal? You can just look him up too if you want. Look, uh, put in Andre Kirilenko, man. And basically, he's going for 60. He's not selling for 64k, so I would probably set this. I would probably sell him for around 62k, maybe even 60k. But set this to right around 52k. You get a solid 4k profit. Any any snipe you'll get is a solid 4k around 4k profit, and you're even potentially able to get. A crazy crazy snipe for like 20k which is gonna be a crazy good profit man all right lastly bro you know what it is bro it's the uh, there's no variation there's no nothing yet it's just straight dark matter and man i've been on this filter for a long while uh if you did not see my last video go ch my last time video go check it out because i do get crazy i see two dark matters and how often does it take to see a dark matter man you were probably asking if you're too lazy to get on the filter yourself bro it can literally be 10 hours straight of you not getting one or not seeing one i spent Friday night, I spent six hours not seeing one, and then Saturday, uh, two hours in, I saw, I think two or three hours in, I saw two different snipes, so it's all luck, but it be, expect to be on it for hella hours and not see anything, so be ready for that, man, but anything you get should be a solid ass night besides, like, Jimmer's mid, but yeah, man, um, if you have a lot of MT, this is probably gonna be the only filter you're gonna be want to be on it, yeah, that's just how it's gonna be, yeah, man, uh, Thank you, and if you have not already checked it out, check out this night video, bro.